Okay guys, so welcome to the mesh generation tutorial. Today I'll show you some impact technique uh, to generate mesh. So last day I showed you some techniques to generate mesh in NCS. So you can see I will already uploaded the geometry. I use the geometry from UTS online so you can download it and you can use the geometry. There is another video and it will help you to input the geometry. So now what I will do, I will just drag this mesh and connect with this geometry. So you see it's taking time. Okay. So now it's connected. So now um I will just double click on mesh and wait for a couple of seconds. So you see it's initiating and now yes this is the geometry so this is our airfoil model and i told you you need to do some name selections before meshing because NCS doesn't know which part is inlaid or which section is outlaid so you need to put some name selection so i'm not going to show you how to do the name selections today if you follow the other video then um, you can get it from there so i'll go to the mesh simply i will change the physics preference to CFD from mechanical and I will keep this as fluent as it is you can use either fluent or CFX so when it is I'm keeping all other settings um, I'm not changing anything so I will use the default setting and if I click on generate mesh then you can see this is the mesh it's, it is coarse mesh you can see here and most importantly uh, it is the hexahedral elements but uh, the airfoil geometry it is asymmetric um, profile the shape of the geometry is asymmetric so tetrahedral elements is much better and you will get much, much better results at the, with these tetrahedral elements so what you can do by using the is sizing or the sizing options you can refine this mesh uh, but what I said we need to generate tetrahedral mesh uh, for these types of application especially for the airfoil as it is a symmetric model so what we will do we'll go to the mesh I'll just right click insert and I'll select method so you can see uh, there is the options so you need to select the geometry so just click on this portion this yellow tab and this is for the whole setup you can say uh, just click on this and then click on your geometry and then click on apply then you can see we're selecting the model and now we have only one body so it's showing how many bodies it got so in method um, it is now automatic if you click and generate mesh then you see how it looks like so go to mesh and you can see it's the automatic mesh that we got previously so go to the automatic mesh click on method and you can see this list out there are a couple of different methods so we need the tetrahedral elements so it's selected tetrahedrons and you can see the algorithm is patch conforming so it is default for this case actually Best conforming is one kind of algorithm for tetrahedron methods. So it is actually the bottom of the process. It mesh, um, it is tied the meshing from A's face and then body. It is actually good for clean cut model, mm -hmm. and we will use also the patch independent and then I will tell you what it is. So if you not uh, skip all of the other settings default and click on generate mesh then you can see uh, we got the tetrahedral elements and we really found that near the airfoil yeah, model um, you see it is more fine and then it is it's become the course okay so this it takes less time and now if i go to this best conforming method and if i change the best conforming to best independent so what is best independent so previously I said the best conforming is the bottom of approach and the best independent is top okay so this is actually um, 
the volume mesh it actually generates the volume mesh at first and this is projected down to the face and the edges to create the surface mesh the best independent um, algorithm it is good for dirty cut geometries so if your model is more complex then um, yeah it can go for this best independent and it might take a bit time compared to the best conforming mesh so click on the generate mesh and you see um, yeah so you can see previously it took less time and now it's taking more time so with it, yeah so just wait and see how long it takes and i forgot to show you the number of nodes or the cells doing this that patch conforming algorithm so it should be significantly higher um, for best independent and then best conforming algorithm so the, you can see the mesh, mesh, meshing paces which is 23 percent down so just wait and yeah it usually takes a long time so 46 percent done yeah we need some more time So it's 58 percent. I need to wait a bit more. Yeah, I as I said earlier that uh, the best independent mesh it usually takes a long time compared to the best conforming so for this airfoil model we can easily use the best conforming method but I just wanted to show you how the other method works so let's wait for a bit more So it's done so you can see it's completed and if I click on mesh then you can see how fine it is so this means the number of nodes the number of cells increased significantly if I yeah you see the enlarged version so it's too many nodes so just let's go to the state and you see here it's I have 3.3 million nodes and 1.5 million elements. So if I go back to the best independent again and if I select the best conforming and then see what is the difference, it's so quick, super fast to see for the best conforming and now it's only 3000 nodes. So this is a method and now we'll just see another method so click on clear generated data and say the mesh con you can delete this one or you can keep it as it is so if we select um, the multi zone actually if you need a large number of core surface mesh then we usually use the multi zone and you can use this as the mesh type is hexa or you can change it so i'll keep this is hexa and if I just click on the generate mesh then you can see yeah the mesh type like it is the automatic mesh so you can refine it um, based on your requirements or you can play with some other options like sizing the inflations 
I showed you uh, so you can just go through the other video and then you can see how to do that so this is the multi jump and it is actually a method that is um, categorized as a patch independent and like on the tetrahedron patch so this is this method it usually use the automatic um, algorithm like the automatic meshing and you see the mesh types we got the similar types of mesh for the previous settings uh, so apart from that um, there is you can see some other methods like the sweep or the hex dominant um, so depending on your problem uh, you might need to create some some other types of mesh in it and for that you need to use different methods like sorry for the external but for this case um, we need the tetrahedron elements so we will use the method from here so we'll change the tetrahedrons and then it will give you the tetrahedral elements also uh, definitely when you will generate the mesh is in every time you need to check the quality of your mesh um, so I should how to get the quality of the mesh so you can see the mesh metric you can check it the orthogonal quality you can check the you can check the skewness uh, so yeah so that's all for today